Why men don't open up. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this one has to do with the fact that there are a couple of reasons why guys won't open up. And especially in the beginning is because he doesn't have that kind of relationship with you. Maybe because he doesn't want that kind of relationship with you or you guys just haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, a perfect example is just like I've had young ladies in it that have said one of the first things they want to know when they meet a guy is they want to know what his FICO score, what his credit score, um, you know, that kind of stuff. That's personal information. For me personally, that's none of your business. If we're not in that kind of relationship, I don't walk around and just show everyone, here's my credit score, and this is my all my personal business. So if I'm just beginning to date you, what makes you think you qualify to receive that kind of information? So you may be asking for information that at this point, now I know there, there are some people that they understand that and they go, well, you want to know that up front. Folks, keep trying that. And, and most of you who have tried that probably have been on many, many dates and wondering why. Because I know for me personally, as soon as I've realized that what you're doing is you're doing an interview process with me, we're done. Because for me, I'm looking for a person who's looking for me, which means you're getting to know me. And if all you're looking for is you're trying to pick my brains to get external stuff, FICO score, what your car look like, where you live, all if that's the whole conversation, and I'm not saying those things, folks, that you ignore them. But if I know that's all that you're interested in, and it's not me that you're trying to get to know, why would I open up and give you that personal information? At this point, I'm looking at you differently. We've heard the word gold digger. That's kind of what will pop up maybe for some guys, not saying all, but that can start to pop up. And again, why would he want to give you any information? Why would he open up? So... You got to recognize what are you putting out there? What are you asking? And then what messes uh, guys up is because we're in a society that a guy that does open up, and this is probably the biggest one, those are guys that people keep calling beta guys. <laughs> Even guys call those beta guys. Um, a guy that actually will tell you what's really on his heart and how he really feels, he gets labeled as being soft. Because we're supposed to handle it ourselves and we don't, we don't need to go to anybody. If you tell me stuff that's personal, that will get me to an emotional state, because the world has told me I can't show emotion because I'm quote unquote a man, I'm going to withhold information that's very valuable to our relationship. You may have heard me say this in the past. Any guy that lives in that environment where he got this macho thing going on and he and he can't open up and, and basically he doesn't have a safe environment in which this relationship is in because that's crucial. A safe environment means I can open up and tell you exactly how I feel. But unfortunately, from what I've seen in most cases where the people play the macho role, it's not a safe environment because the guy is too busy playing a role that the world has told him this masculine energy or all this kind of other garbage. He's had to live with that. And therefore the true things that really affects his heart, that could take him to an emotional state. He's going to withhold from you. And as I keep saying, if he can't tell you the most valuable things that will affect him and may create emotion, you will never have a, a, a relationship that's at its best. Never. It's impossible. Why? Because the most important things that really affect me the most, I'm not sharing with you. So how could we ever get to have the ultimate relationship? And so for a lot of ladies, you have to understand sometimes when you ask a guy to do that, and then he becomes brave enough to actually do it, and then you give him kind of look like, whoa, I didn't expect that, or, or some kind of way where you make him feel like he is quote unquote not a man 
or he's acting like a woman or whatever, which our society likes to call feminine, which to me is a whole nother topic. I've talked about that before. It's amazing how we look at anything that's negative, weakness or anything else, we call that feminine and anything that's strength and what we call that masculine. I don't buy into any of that garbage. Um, anyway, to me, the bottom line is if you have a guy in a vulnerable position and he opens up and you make him feel that he's weak because he opened up. From this point on, he'll stop opening up and he'll start to lie to you or he or, or you wonder why he just seemed closed off when there's certain things you're trying to get out of him and he won't tell you. And it's because, again, what's the problem? We don't have a safe environment. You got to create that or your relationship will never, ever get to the uh to uh to its highest peak oh yeah by the way uh before i move on i did want to touch on a little bit more about the topic when i said about asking a guy all the personal information i don't want you guys to take that as that stuff that that is not important to relationships but i want you to understand when i say that you can learn everything you need to know about a person by just having a conversation you can watch the way when you go out, their spending habits. You can watch the, you know what I'm saying, just the regular kind. You can see the way that they treat people. I mean, they could tell you, that's why I tell people, you don't have to, when people say you got to live with someone to figure them out. and that, No, you don't. You don't. You just got to pay attention. You'll watch. You'll watch the way even when you go out to eat. You'll watch the way they leave the table. There's stuff scattered all over the place. I mean, or are they the person that you see them notice cleaning stuff up? Not that they clean up the whole area, but you notice how they leave the area in which in which they got through versus they got corn all over here and stuff all over here. And they just don't let... Folks, if you pay attention, people will... That old saying, I don't listen to what you say. I watch what you do. Because, see, I can tell you anything when you ask me questions. But watch me. Pay attention. You can pick up on everything. You can you can see their spending habits. You can see, you you'll say you'll get to see if they're responsible. You'll see all that kind of stuff. Because just because they they can answer the questions correctly right now, character and integrity, as you guys hear me keep saying, will tell you how long they're going to stay in that situation, or if they get hit. With like what we've going, got going on right now with, with this, this COVID, how will they respond to adversity? Because just because they had it when you first had a conversation with them, something like this pop up. If you don't know who they are, something like this can destroy them. And the person that will make this through is the person that you didn't get a time of day because they didn't answer the questions the way you wanted to in the beginning. And you didn't take the time to get to watch and know them to see if they're actually what you're looking for. But again, first, you got to know what you're looking for. But anyway, one of the things that I would recommend that you do if you want to actually get a person to open up is first, as we talked about, is you have to have a safe environment where the person feels like I can talk to you and then not feel bad. And one of the things that that I've heard people do and and, and I've done it also is you ask a person, you know, if they tell you something, you say, okay, feed it back. Repeat back to me what I just said. And see how they, because, you know, people are always going to rewrite it <laughs> from their perspective. This is what you said. No, 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 no. Repeat exactly what I said. Okay. And if even if they can repeat it directly back to you, then they need to explain, now, how did you take what I just said, because I want to know, not only did you just hear, because first off, if you can't even repeat what I said, then I know you're not paying, if you can't repeat what I said, then you're not listening to what I'm what I'm talking about, which most people don't do. Most people, I can tell you now, if until you practice this, you'll see, you ain't even listening to people. When they say stuff to you, you like, they say what I just say, and you go, <laughs> and I know some, know exactly what I'm talking about. But this will fine tune your listening skills and it'll make your relationship uh, at a whole nother level to where you guys can communicate. But anyway, you ask the person, they feed it back to you and then you go, OK, now this is what I got from what you just said, because just because you can repeat what I said does not mean you understood what I meant. 
You guys follow me? Because you may take it all out of context because you're always going to explain it from where? Your own way of seeing the world. Very few people know how to get out of their shoes, which we've all heard, get out of your shoes and get into the other person's shoes. Very few people know how to actually do that. So because of that, once you feed it back to me and then I tell you, okay, now what did you get from what I said? They're going to have a whole different definition of what I just, and you like, well, that ain't even close to what I meant. See, that's where relationships break down because even if you can repeat exactly what I said, do you know what I meant when I said it? A perfect example, um, and you guys have heard me use this one before, just something real simple like the word bad. I can say, that's a bad dress. And you can repeat that back to me and say, that's a bad dress. But what did I mean? They go, you telling me there's something wrong with my dress? No. Because see, the environment in which I'm from, I can say it's a bad dress. And I mean, that, that's an awesome dress. You guys follow me? That's why you have to get good at being able to not only repeat it, but get a, do you fully grasp what I just said? And that way we can get some clarity. And folks, when a person explains to you what they really mean, do not argue and do not try to justify why you think the way you think. Because this is back to what we're talking about, why they won't open up. Because the moment that he opens up and he tells you exactly how he feels, even if it may have hurt your feelings, if you don't understand where he's coming from and you come back from a negative, boom, shut down. Probably the last time we'll get to have that possible open lines of communication. So you got to be willing to, if you're going to have this with the person and you're trying to get them to open up, they have to first know that this is a safe place. Know that you're not going to judge. Because that's the whole purpose of a safe environment is knowing you're not going to judge me. You're going to hear me out. You're going to fully grasp what I'm saying. And the only way you're going to do that is by telling me, what did you get out of what I just said? That way I can see, did you really get it? Did you fully grasp what I'm actually saying? And guess what? How I feel are my real feelings and you can't change that. You guys get me? Don't tell them, were you wrong for feeling that way? No. That, again, that's going to create a shutdown. My feelings are my feelings. And you can't tell me they're wrong. They're my feelings. Now, if you want to share yours and we're in an environment where we're saying, okay, now I'm sharing with you how I feel, but how did that make you feel when I shared that? Now, if we're open to that and we're having that kind of kind, cool, because now you can go, well, you know, I didn't. I took it as da, 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 we can have that line of communication, but it's got to be safe and it's got to come from both directions. And I'm telling you the first time and, and guys, this definitely happens with ladies. If, if you don't listen and you can't hear where she's coming from, because a lot of times, and I know this is good for a lot of guys, they're so focused somewhere else. And again, it's, and, and I, and I, and I don't really like saying guys because it's human beings. If you really watch people, and most conversations, and, and, and do this to tomorrow, or do it today if it's early when you see this, watch people and watch how they don't listen to each other. It, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is very rare. I had one friend that she was amazing to me because I'd watch her and she'd just sit there and the person she's talking to, the rest of the world has disappeared. Her whole focus is she's right here with you. What? And I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I watch it. I'm like, Ron, you got to get better at that because she's showing you how it's done. This, this is good because that's what she's letting the person know. There's nothing important. I mean, I don't care. We were at a club one time and she was like that, just with the person she's talked. And that was just her. She didn't do it with just one person. That's her. If she's with you, we talking. And the person feels like, I am significant. I am important. And if you don't get good at doing that with your partner, they'll, they won't open up. And you got to take responsibility for what are you contributing to that. So anyway, so I hope that, and you guys know for me, everything I share, it goes both ways. Women, women won't open up for the exact same reason. 
If they feel like they've shared with you and you shut them down, you just didn't listen, you can't repeat back, and, and, and she's wrong for the way she feels, it works both ways. So I just shared that and said, why men don't open up because I hear that a lot. And, and again, most of it is because it means going into a vulnerable state. And guys have been taught not to do that. And so they'll run from it. And then some of it, like I said, is because you guys aren't in that place in your relationship where maybe the information that you're asking, he doesn't feel that you deserve. And again, we know it goes both ways. There's going to be certain information you don't think he deserves. So don't be offended. Just make sure, build that safe place first. Then your partner will open up. And it doesn't matter, male or female. Once I feel I'm in a safe environment, then I'll open up. And that's the reason, like friendships, that's the reason with people with their friends, they feel like they can share anything. Even if the friend don't agree, the friend will be like, Girl, you crazy or man, you have lost your mind or whatever. But I feel I can share with them and they're heal me, they're, they will hear me out. Even if they don't agree, they will hear me out. And that's what you have to get inside of your own relationship. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you that we talk on uh, Self Love Monday, I look forward to talking to you on Monday. And then again on uh, Relationship Thursday. Now, if you guys have any more questions on the, um, what is it, the emotional abuse, man, that, that particular podcast, it has now moved on to become my top podcast ever as far as the numbers. And every day is more and more being added to it. And I'm like, wow. So obviously there's something going on out here that I'm missing. And and so if you want to give me clarity on what is it that that from the emotional abuse that because I talked about like eight different uh, areas where you can notice emotional abuse. But if there's something in there that you really, truly would like some more clarity, let me know. And I'll share my best because as you guys know, like I said, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It's my opinion. So I'm just going to give you my perspective. But I'd be more than happy to do that because that's really what I'm here to do is serve and give the best perspective I can to hopefully move you in the direction that you say that you want to go. So again, run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. And um, that's where I got all the different programs and things where you can see what I got going on. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk to you guys later. Create that safe environment, and then you'll watch your person, your partner, open up, male or female. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.